I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Warley art, which is folk art from India. I'm going to take one finger here in the center, put a dot, come over to this on the right, put a dot. Come down to the bottom, put a dot, come up to the top, put a dot. Okay, from the dot on the right, I'm going to draw straight line down, leave it floating. Come up to the top, straight line out, leave it floating. Come over to the left, straight line down, leave it floating. And now let's see if we can connect. Starting on the bottom, I'm going to draw a straight line over, up, connect. Come on the right, straight line down, connect. Come down to the bottom, we're going to draw a straight line over. Let's make that corner, connect, straight line up, come to the center, straight line over, make that corner, and connect. Okay, this kind of folk art is nothing but repeating patterns. So we're going to start over here on the right and we're going to do a zigzag. Zig, zag, all the way down, zigzag, zigzag. Come over on the left, we're going to do it again, zigzag, zigzag, all the way down. Now the ones that I'm showing you with lines, you can change, but this is how I did it for today. Come up to the top, zigzag, zigzag, come to the bottom, zigzag, 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 zigzag. Now, on this part, I'm just going to put straight diagonals down, all the way down. And like I said, it's repeating patterns. The more patterns you have on this type of folk art from India, the better it looks. Come up to the left, repeat, all the way down. And again, you can make your own choices. This is just the one I'm showing you. Keep going, keep going. Now, you can change your paper, move your paper, but I'm going to do this just not moving my paper so you can see that it can be done all the way down. Come down to the bottom and we're going to do those straight, little straight diagonals all the way across. Repeat, repeat. Now, I come inside and right here inside my zigzag, I'm just going to draw a plus. Straight line, straight line. Straight line, straight line. And I'm going to work my way all the way around my border. This is a border. We haven't even drawn the picture yet. Keep going. Keep going. Come up to the top. Cross. Straight line. Cross straight line, cross, 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 straight line, cross. Now I come on this side and I just draw three straight lines. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I go up, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, again, all of these straight lines, repeating lines, these can all change and you can do your own. This is just what I did for today. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now up here, let's go one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, this is our border. Now, 
I'm going to come right up here on the upper left. I'm going to put a dot. And I am going to draw a spiral. Keep going, keep going, and connect. Now, I'm going to draw baby spirals all the way. Keep going around, baby spirals all the way around. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now I'm going to add baby circles in between. See how it's repeating patterns? By the time you get done, it is just loaded up with a lot of detail. Okay. I come over here on the right side and I draw a straight line, little curve line, bigger curve line, little curve line, connect. Inside I put straight diagonal, baby circle. Straight diagonals, baby circle, till I can't fit any more. Then I come up on top, one, two, three, one, two, one. Okay? Come over here, straight line, little curve, bigger curve, little curve, connect. Straight diagonal, baby circle, straight diagonal, baby circle, straight diagonal, baby circle. Come inside, one, two, three. One, two, one, two. Now, because there is so much going on, you might not be able to fit everything, but I definitely want to keep this space open because this is important. I put a dot and I draw a baby circle. Then I draw a curve line, baby circle, curve line, baby circle, curve line, baby circle. Right underneath, one, two, three little curved lines, bigger curved lines, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Now at this point, straight diagonal down, straight line, straight diagonal up. I come up to the top on the right and I draw a little curved line down, straight line, straight line out, come on the left, straight line out, Straight diagonal, little straight line. Come down at the bottom, straight line, straight diagonal out, straight line, straight line, straight diagonal out, straight line. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put one, two curved lines on top, one, two straight lines on the bottom. Come inside and just draw little straight lines on top, little straight lines on the bottom. Come over to this section and we're going to draw a baby circle. Straight line out, straight line out. One baby circle, two, three baby circles. Come in, draw a curve line up, bring the curve line down so it looks like this is being touched. And at the end, one baby circle, two, three baby circles, put a dot, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay. Now I come over here on my left and I draw wavy, wavy line. Come down, wavy, wavy line. If you can fit one in, wavy, wavy line. Okay. I come up to this first one and put baby circles, straight line, baby circles, straight line, baby circles, straight line, baby circles, straight line. Now I come underneath, let's bring this out a little bit so I'll have a little bit more room. I put baby circles, straight line on the bottom part. And again, what are all of these? Repeating patterns. Everybody can draw a baby circle and everybody can draw a little straight line. So we're going to do it again on this bottom part right here. Keep going, keep going. Now I come over to this space, if you still have it, I'm going to draw a baby circle, straight line out, straight line out. One baby circle, two, three baby circles. Come back over. We want it to hit this line over here. Curve line, straight line, 
Now we put straight line, baby circle, baby circle. Fill this in with curved lines and a dot. Okay, I think that's all. Now, in my other drawing, I had a cloud up here, but I don't have room, so I'm going to put it down here. Because I can do that, I'm the artist. Curve line, bigger curve line, curve line, connect. Inside, straight diagonal, baby circles. And one, two, three, one, two, one, two. I think that's all. As you can tell, it's kind of intense. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, a lot of you were, could probably say, oh Lord, how can I possibly color this in? All you do is get a big fat blue crayon, or a color that you like, and you're going to color the border with some color. But you're going to try and color around your object. So you don't have to color in, this is your sun clouds. This is a girl, here's a bird, and here's a bird. So it's a girl with two birds. Okay? And guess what? I'm done! Woohoo! Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my war Warly art. All colored in, folk art from India. It's supposed to show domestic or social scenes. So I call this girl with two birds. Okay, bye-bye.